Right. I've got two targets set up there, a left hand and a right hand target. Um, and this is a, an uphill shot, approximately 10 metres. Um, after I've taken that shot, I'm going to run up to that target and then take a shot at the 8 o'clock position from that target, uh, which will be a downhill 10 metre shot. Um, so I'll be taking the shot, making the run, and then I've got to hit that target downhill as well. Same again, I've got two targets, a left and a right. I'll hit the left hand target on the, uh, the first run, um, and the right target on the second run. And I'll be using my uh, Armex pistol crossbow that I've SBR'd. Um, I've basically I've just added a, a foregrip and a stock um, and a, a rather tasty Bushnell 1x30, I think, yep. Um, just a simple red dot. There she is. Like I say, I've got a Bushnell 1x30 on it. Uh, quite a lot of modifications required to put that stock on, <laughs> so it's probably not something the average Joe could do. Um, but if you really want it doing, send me a PM and I'll do it for you. You pay the postage there and back, uh, and the cost of the materials, and I won't charge you for making it, so to speak. A uh, little fog foldable foregrip there on the front. It's an £80 pistol crossbow. Uh, the accuracy has been uh, increased massively with that stock uh, and that sight combination zeroed into about 10 meters um, at about 30 meters i need to aim i would say a foot and a half above target so it gives you an idea of a, its drop um cool right let's see if i can reload the crossbow whilst i'm running okay left target in three two one Excuse my language, that second shot was insanely good. Check this out. Well, that took a bit of juice out of me. <clears throat> no idea where the first shot hit. I just ran up to it and I was concentrating on reloading the crossy. So let's have a look. Jeez. I'm getting old. Absolutely ridiculous. Eh? Jesus. I'm telling you, that crossbow is insane. This first shot, I, I wasn't out of breath, like, to be fair, but I was still standing with no rest. And that's 30 foot away. Uh, I mean, I took the shot from... Uh, way down there, really. And ran up the slope to... And then the second target was hit. Let's go and take a look. I had a look at this one. And, uh, I think I swore, so I apologise for that. But this is insane. <laughs> that I am. Oops, let's just get the macro. I am not unhappy with that at all. I consider the red to be a kill, uh, anywhere on the paper to be an injury. Um, and if you miss the paper altogether, it's potentially you getting killed because you're not stopping the target. I'll do a second run now on the right hand target. Slightly high into the right. right. We know where the left one hit. I don't really need to mark that. I'm going to put the camera on the target now and get an impact shot. I'll just do the same run. Good few seconds between shots there. Yeah, and that's a, that's a, that's a miss off the red as well. <sighs> Not the end of the world. That still stop, stop someone running at me that way and give me time to hit them. Uh, Scoheli. The idea. Pretty poor show though. I suppose not bad for 30 foot away, out of breath, with no rest. Uh, in a calm situation, on a table, this thing is insane. It, it, 
you can put five inches, uh, five shots inside that red at 45 feet. Let's check the other target. So the, yep, another miss. I saw that just before I reloaded. Right, so we're going to go for the right hand target of both now. Look at that. <laughs> it's a very dense bale of hair that as well. <laughs> Class. Right. Right on target. Fourth run. And I am absolutely tied out. <laughs> Not bad, very close. Not bad at all. I can live with that. <sighs> inch and a half off centre, half inch up. Not too bad, I can live with that. <sighs> oh, right, let's check the other one out. Sweet. That one there, not that one. That one's the one I've just shot. Whew. Cool. Right, I've got two shots on target on that right hand target now. Um, one of them is four inches up and one inch right, and the other one is inch and a half left and half inch up. So the red hasn't been touched yet, but uh, <clears throat> I'm going to try and give you a there you go a scope shot. This is totally sick. Check that out, and uh, see if I can hit that red dot right there. Red dot, red square. Sorry. That was a very good shot, viewers. Thank you very much. <laughs> that was only about five metres away, let's be fair. Cool. About seven metres away now. I've switched the green dot out for a red. Look at that lads, what are you doing? How are you viewers? <laughs> cool. Right, I've got this target set up down here. Doing a bit of crossbow shooting. Uh, I've got it set up against a dead tree. And that is about that's a good 30 metres away that. Uh, it's slightly down angle as well. Uh, let's see what we can do. Right, to give you an idea of the distance from the target, 
Uh, I'm at the shooting position right now. I'll uh, just walk down to the target. I can't believe I got one in the centre. 